All right. Hi, everyone. I just made a post on the Unreal Dev community in Luo Shuang's uh, GPU Lightmass thread, I guess. I wanted to quickly compare Luo Shuang's GPU Lightmass, which is still working in 5.1. Uh, very excited about the new Unreal Engine 5.1 release. And I wanted to compare Unreal Engine's own GPU Lightmass, which has been quite optimized, I think, until now, against uh, Luo Shuang's GPU light mass, which has been around for a long time. I've been doing ArcVis for a very long time in Unreal Engine, also other programs, um, mainly as a hobby, but also sometimes professionally. And I was quite interested in how those two would compare and I couldn't find anything online. So these are my two pictures that I took a quick screenshot in Unreal Engine 5.1. This is uh, Luo Shuang's GPU light mass. And this is Unreal Engine's own GPU light mass in version 5.1. I didn't change any settings in the Luo Shuang's version, neither did I in the Unreal Engine one. I think I tried to optimize the Unreal Engine one a little bit, but um, yeah, right off the bat, you can tell that the Unreal Engine version has um, it looks like it has more bounces, uh, more indirect lighting bounces. Um, you can see in Luo Shuang's version, the corner is way darker back here. Also, the shadows behind this chimney thing um, are way more pronounced, as well as the window shadows. The main thing that jumped at me when I compared these two images is Take a look at this edge right here. In Lua's version, um, the two meshes, I think those are two mesh meshes, so you can't really see a separation in Lua's version, but with the Unreal Engine one, it looks as if there were two meshes, um, which is kind of weird. I don't know if, if that's some kind of bug or there's probably a way I can fix that. Um, yeah, but in general, I I think I like Lua's version more as of now. Just gonna switch back and forth. If you wanna take your own look at the pictures, you can go to the link. I'll put it in the description. Yeah, I, I guess if you like shadows, right off the bat, Lua's version is, is better. And yeah, and if you like it a little bit more, more light bounces, and more indirect lighting, uh, you can try the Unreal Engine version. In terms of uh, render time, I think Luo's version was a bit faster, which means you could technically optimize Luo's uh, parameters a little bit to get even a better quality. So let me just uh, quickly hop into the scene uh, to show you what's going on. So this is Luo's version. Um, yeah, I really like how the light is distributed. Just look at the window, it's... The corners are very clean. Uh, also, the shadow of these three pillars right here. If I switch into lighting only mode, you can see... Oh wait, which one was it? Oh, this one. As you can see, it looks very clean. Uh, also with the indirect lighting from the red floor right here. Looks very nice. And yeah, as you can see, the separation right here is... There's, 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 no, there's no seam at all, it's just seamless. And if I hop into the Unreal Engine version right here, as you can see, there's this weird thing going on. I don't really know why that is. Um, I don't even think it's because this right here is, I think the wall is its own mesh. So there's not even a mesh transition right here, I think, but I'll have to figure that out. And as you can see, way more indirect lighting of the red. If I hop back right now, as you can see, way less 
indirect lighting with the Luo's version, but I kind of prefer it. Yeah, let me switch back to standard view. Yeah, I just wanted to make this quick comparison because I couldn't find anything online. So I hope this helps uh, someone out there. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, let's chat in the comments and uh, have a good day. Goodbye.